All right, so I decided to order 13 custom minifigs uh, that are not officially Lego brand for the first time ever. And I'm gonna review each one and tell you my thoughts. Let's get this started. This is the first time I've branched off of Lego branded figures and went out on a limb here and purchased these on Etsy. And while I was putting them together, you could tell a little bit that they weren't normal Lego brand just by the texture of the plastic and how they snapped together. It felt a tiny bit more almost brittle feeling or, or stiff feeling, um, which makes me worry a little bit that they'll hold up and they won't uh, you know, wear out over, over time through play. Uh, but that said, they, they are very poseable right now. Out of the package, an adult owner with these minifigures would be just fine uh, leaving them on a display or in a custom mock. I think the plastic and the, and the feel of them is super close to a Lego branded figure. I don't think anyone would even notice that these are not Lego brand figures. Except for the reason why we bought them in the first place, which is the IPs that these figures are from. Lego would never make these. There's blood, there's violence, there's chainsaws, we have Captain Spaulding from House of a Thousand Corpses. There just will never be a House of a Thousand Corpses or Michael Myers set on a Lego store shelf. Anyway, let's take a little closer look here at the quality of these figures and the printing and have a little comparison next to a known Lego minifig. So here I've got Beetlejuice and we've got Freddy and I'm just admiring the printing on Freddy's shirt. It's just spot on. Uh, I wish he only had one face. Uh, the extra face on the back makes it a little less poseable in a mock, but you can tell uh, the quality of the figure's printing is pretty similar to that of a Lego figure. I don't know that there's even any difference. Maybe these ones are printed in a different way or a different factory, but it, it looks about the same. Now I'm just gonna quickly review each one of these figures. Captain Spaulding is awesome. I just love this figure. I wish that it only had one face because I'm gonna use this in a lot of different mocks and displays. It's just so cool, I'm happy we have one. Look at the little tile that it comes with too, it's so cool. Few movies out there, like The Exorcist, that scared an entire generation. Uh, this figure is just spot on. I love the colors, I love the nightgown that they used, and her face is just so scary. It's just spot on and perfect. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the design I chose out of the selection that were available on the website. I think this one is just spot on also. Very cool leather face. You got to build the chainsaw. Iconic, it has blood all over him. How cool is this figure? Next up is The Shining. Jack Nicholson plays Jack and he goes crazy. And this minifig is just spot on as well. I love it, I love every little detail. Color is perfect, his face is just spot on. It just immediately makes you wanna say, here's Johnny. Next up we have Sam from Trick or Treat. This is another one of those movies that we play every Halloween. It's just a fun Halloween movie and I love how he took a bite out of his weapon here and is ready to go terrorize the town. After this we have Jason. You can't have a horror movie minifig collection without Jason. Uh, this is going to come in handy, especially with uh, Freddy vs. Jason. I kind of wish that they didn't do a second face on the back of this minifig, because I think the hockey mask look should only be really on the front, and uh, that kind of takes away from the figure. Next up is Mike Myers from the Halloween series. This is such a great fig. I love the printing. It's a little hard to see with this lighting, but you can kind of tell what I'm talking about when the pants are all printed. They look like blue jeans. It looks like... Uh, a work uniform and his face just looks spot on. Everything is really good about this fig. I'll try to hold it up to the light here so you can see a little bit better what I'm talking about with the printing here on these figures. They're all pretty spot on. And of course I think one of the favorites that I'm gonna have on this on this video is It 
where he has his balloon. Kind of looks like a sucker. It looks a little weird, but uh, the balloon nonetheless is included if you want to display with it. Uh, it sure does look really, really cool. Look at these. Look at this printing. I'm going to get a close up here and just show you guys all the printing on the arms and legs. The torso is just perfect. It even comes with the fluffy little uh, neck piece here just to give it that extra 3D effect. Just a cool fig. I love it. And we have Jason, so of course we're going to have to have Freddy. This fig is one of my favorites. I talked about it a little bit earlier, but just look at the color of the of his shirt. And uh, I love his face, and, and, the, and the hat is perfect. Next we have Ghostface, and of course the Scream movies are some of my favorite Halloween movies. They're... They're awesome. The I love the cape back here, the, the tattered cape, and just kind of pulls the whole figure together. I'm going to guess that another favorite that people are going to have is Chucky. This is one of my favorite figures that, I, that I've ever had, honestly. It's just, it's just awesome. Spot on. The uh, movable short legs are really cool. I like that he comes with a pistol and a knife. And, of course, two different faces here that you can display however you want to create a mock. And I'd say this is the most unique figure I picked up. We got Hannibal the Cannibal, Hannibal Lecter. But he's all locked up, so obviously they don't have his arms on him. Because they're supposed to be all side uh, across his chest here. It's a very unique and cool figure. I kind of wish there was arms here so I can do different things with Hannibal the Cannibal. But a cool figure. And finally, last but not least, we have Samara from The Ring holding the videotape to uh, hand deliver, I guess. One thing I really dislike is that they have a two-sided face on this figure, which I think is kind of almost completely pointless. Uh, you don't need a two-sided Samara minifigure. Uh, for some reason, they decided to do that, but I'll just swap it out with another figure that does, just has a plain head, um, and I'll be happy. So that's what I picked up. I picked up 13 figures total. Uh, they were about three to four dollars each. Some of them were five dollars, I want to say. Awesome figures. I'm gonna pick up some more. I'll link down below where I got them. I'm not affiliated by any way or or anything, but figured I would give you guys the opportunity to pick these up and add them to your collection too. Let me know if you like this video, and I'll see you next time.